What's up everybody? Welcome to Audio Architects. Today you caught me inside the bathroom. What am I doing inside the bathroom other than normal stuff is I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly clean your CDs. A lot of people wonder how I, how I do it. They've asked me how to do it. So I just want to go ahead and put it out there and show you guys my process on when I go to a Goodwill, have a Goodwill haul, or even uh, buy them online. You know, a lot of times they come dirty and they come, uh, you know, with the mirage of having scratches that aren't really even there. So um, I'm gonna show you guys exactly, you know, before and after and my process entirely on how I clean my CDs and prepare them for either selling or for keeping forever. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, so what we're gonna start out with is a little container filled with water, and I'm using Palmolive. Definitely use a soap that doesn't have any additives or any weird things, because that could cause some abrasion on the CD. Use a very, you know, clean, nice, basic soap. So nothing crazy. I use Palmolive because, I don't know, I've known that brand forever, so I trust it. So uh, not I'm not, you know, sponsored by Palmolive or anything, but. So go ahead and fill your uh, fill your container up uh, as, as you know about halfway, three quarters of the way. Nothing crazy, so that way you know things don't get don't get wild, wet and wild in here. And then what you're gonna do? All right, you're gonna grab your CD and you're gonna inspect it. As you can see already right off the bat, there's a there's a little little fingerprint there, and this is something I picked up at the Goodwill. As you can see there, there's hair, there's there's just weird stuff in there, you know there's. There's little little things that shouldn't be there. So what we're gonna do? Make sure to set your uh, your case aside, and you're just gonna dip it, dip it a few times, get it nice and soapy, and then you're gonna use warm water, a little bit of hot, a little bit of cold. And you're just gonna rinse it through. It's nice and make sure all the soap's off and everything's off. If it's still kind of dirty, if you see a little, uh, I see a little grease stain there, hit it again with that soap, run it through. This soap and this water and this rinsing is doing half the battle for you guys, so this is, uh, this is the meat and potatoes of it. You're gonna turn off your water so you don't waste water. All right, now what you're gonna do is grab it, dry your other hand so it's not all wet and gross, and then take your uh, microfiber cloth just start, I, I usually do circular motion. That's what I do. I don't know if people can have a different opinion. Um, circular motion, make sure it's nice and dry, the area you're trying to do it in and then get the, hit the front. Hit the front with that motion. Make sure you're not using the edges because the edges are a little hard. Could scratch it. Whew, looks nice. Any little area that you need to focus on, focus on that area. But other than that, I think we're cooking with fire here. And there you have it. Beautiful, clean, probably smells good. It smells like palmolive. Oh, there's a little some fingerprints on there from my hands being wet. Make sure, yeah, make sure your hands are make sure your hands are dry. That's important. Okay. But yeah. Beautiful, clean, perfect. Ready to rock and roll. You put it back in your case and you're good to go. Okay, so just to give you guys a good idea of what lives on your CDs, look at that water. That's after about 50, about 20 CDs. Look at that. That's what's on your CDs, you guys. That's disgusting. You know, so especially when you're getting them from Goodwill and stuff, you don't know what kind of peanut buttery fingers people have. Probably nasty little hairs everywhere. That's gross. That was on my. That's what was all my CDs. 15 to 20 CDs max. That's what came off of it. So uh, definitely, definitely clean your CDs when you buy them from you know thrift stores, Goodwill, online, wherever. Okay, everybody. Now that your disc is clean, what are you gonna do next? Well, this is what I do next. I went on Amazon and I bought about 50 of these clear cases. And I also have the ones with the uh, the black the black uh, insert in them as well. So just in case I get an older CD, I have something for that as well. But they're not terribly expensive. Uh, I think I got 50 for like 20 something bucks. 
and you're gonna replace your old ones because a lot of times your old ones will only be scratched, there'll be abrasions on them, they'll be cracked, um, they'll have peanut buttery fingers from people that touched them before, gross, right, gross. Even though if you, if you, even if you clean them, they're still gross. So definitely invest in these little guys. Super easy, you just pop it open. You just be careful because I've cracked so many of these with my with my brute strength. But um, yeah, you open them up, you put the insert in, you put the disc in, bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a brand new CD. All right guys, and that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching my little mini short video on how to clean CDs. Very important though. I know it's something that seems silly, but at the end of the day, you saw that water, that's disgusting. I bet you guys are gonna think it in your heads right now. God, that's gross, my CDs are disgusting. Go clean them, go clean your CDs right now and stay tuned because this Friday you'll see some brand new content. See you then.